OK, so I've told you something about cell wall polymers. I'm now going to uh, describe how these interact with each other in the cell wall. Uh, and I'm going to mention or we'll talk about something called cell wall ultrastructure, which again I won't bother writing in detail. Cell wall ultrastructure. So the structure of a cell wall, if we look down a microscope at a cross section of a cell wall, it looks something like this. There are different layers to the cell wall, which I won't go into in this particular lecture. Um, the important layer from the point of view of the mechanical properties of wood is this S2 layer. And the S2 layer has got microfibrils in it that are wrapped around in this helical structure. A bit difficult to draw a 3D structure in 2D. So we've got this, these helices of cellulose microfibrils wrapped around the cell wall. And these form an angle with the cell wall axis, which we call the microfibril angle. And if we remember that the cellulose is very, very strong in tension, if we have microfibrils that form a very shallow angle with the cell wall axis, so we have a very small microfibril angle, here, then the cell wall is going to be extremely strong in tension, very, very stiff in tension, whereas if the microfibrils are wrapped around the cell wall with a very large microfibril angle, the cell wall is going to be very flexible. It's going to be possible to extend the cell wall much more easily. So that's how cellulose is laid down in the cell wall. But between the cellulose, we have the hemicelluloses and the lignin, and I'm going to tell you about what these do in the next part of this lecture.